Overwatch 2 is filled with many heroes, 39 to be exact, and while there's many ways to counter each of them, in this video we're going to be going over how to counter every single character in the game. Diva counters. Diva's strength is also her weakness. Her defense matrix, even though it nullifies all projectiles coming her way, it has limited charge and doesn't protect her against melee and beam damage. Weaker than a shield, defense matrix is both a huge asset and a potential area to exploit for enemies. Symmetra and Zarya can both deal D.Va's HP with their primary fire due to the tank's large hitbox and inability to stop incoming beam damage. Symmetra is a bit of a niche hero, but with her beam and also turrets placed in strategic spots, she can catch a D.Va player off guard. Heroes like Reinhardt and Bridget are also able to bypass D.Va's defense matrix with their melee attacks making them prime candidates for bursting down or defending against D.Va. But these heroes are unable to deal critical damage, which may give D.Va enough time to boost her away. If you're playing Bridget, try disrupting her booster pathway with a whip shot. D.Va's most powerful ability, her ultimate self-destruct, will wipe your team in a second if you don't find cover or take distance quickly. That's why tanks like Reinhardt, Winston, and Ramatra, all of whom have access to shields, can protect a large group of allies from the explosion. Doomfist counters. The highly mobile Doomfist struggles against other mobile heroes. Quick heroes can jump over his power block and deal damage to his vulnerable back, and they're harder to hit with his rocket punch. Some of these heroes include Tracer and Genji. Sombra will always be a good counter against Doomfist since her hacks can make him nearly immovable and easy to focus down. Heroes with long range attacks like Widowmaker, Ash, Bastion, and Anna can skirmish with him at long distances to stay out of his way in close combat attacks. Junker Queen counters. Junker Queen is the literal definition of a menace, with her throwing knife, boosting commanding shout, and anti-heal ultimate rampage, her ultimate is the biggest issue when facing her, so focusing on countering rampage should be a priority when considering her best counter picks. Some of the great counter heroes are Kuriko, who can dispel the anti-heal using her protection Suzu, and then also Baptiste, who can provide a brief area of invincibility for allies via his immortality field. Similar to Roadhog and Orisa, Junker Queen has no way to shield herself or her allies, so most damage and tank heroes can burst her down if they focus enough damage onto her. She compensates for this slightly by having a smaller hitbox than the aforementioned tanks, but can still be focused down with the right team synergy. You should be wary of Junker Queen's melee, as it can pull you towards her for a near instant kill. Farah and Echo are exceptional against Junker Queen for their ability to fly and shoot projectiles from above, which she can't reach with her shotgun. Orisa counters. Orisa is here to protect her allies and impale you with her javelin. With how close Orisa wants to be with her opponents to inflict maximum damage, heroes like Echo are ideal choices for dealing with her. Since Orisa is clunky and lacks mobility, other heroes like Tracer, Genji, and Wrecking Ball are able to run around and damage her from all angles due to their own extreme movements that catch Orisa off guard. Reaper the Tank Shredder is also good against Orisa especially since she no longer has a shield in her kit to protect herself. Try to time your engagement as Reaper to start right after she throws her javelin on someone else, so she can't stop your attacks. Sombra is also an exceptional counter since her hacks disable Orisa's abilities, but due to how much Sombra is nerfed, it's best that you have your team beside you when playing with her and attacking a hacked Orisa, or you'll be thrown into a wall with a javelin. Ramatra counters. The usual tank busters include Reaper and Roadhog. They can shred Ramatra quickly thanks to his lack of self-sustain. Highly mobile heroes including Tracer, Farah, and Genji can jump around him and dodge his melee attacks. They can also attack him from the back when he's blocking in Nemesis form. Since Ramatra primarily deals in close range damage, especially in Nemesis form, long range heroes like Ash and Widowmaker can snipe him from far away. With the strength of Cassidy's damage and movement, he's a safe choice against Ramatra. Reinhardt counters. Reinhardt, like many tanks, lacks mobility. You should exploit this glaring weakness of his by using high mobility DPS heroes like Tracer, Genji, 
Bera, and Echo, who can outmaneuver Reinhardt from the sides and from above, allowing them to either break through his shield or strike him from above, where his shield does not reach. Just don't get too close, or you'll succumb to massive damage from swings of Reinhardt's hammer, which can delete DPS heroes from the field with just two or three deceptively fast hits. His shield is also his biggest asset, so attacking Reinhardt from the front will be useless most of the time. Bastion and Junkrat are great options for breaking Reinhardt's shield if you'd rather go that route. By breaking his massive shield down, allies can capitalize at just the right moment and take him down, or force the tank to retreat while his defenses recharge. Roadhog Counters Junkrat and Reaper are two great counters to Roadhog and his massive hitbox allowing you to chunk him down quickly if positioned right. Highly mobile heroes like Echo, Bera, Genji, Tracer, Sombra, and Wrecking Ball can quickly escape his hook. Roadhog's gun is great for busting tanks, including himself. Roadhog counters other Roadhogs. Widowmaker, Pharah, Echo, Junkrat, and Anna all attack at a distance, which makes it hard for Roadhog's shotgun to hit them. Just watch out for his hook. Maga counters. When it comes to countering MAGA, generally you want to have loads of crowd control on your team. Anna's Biotic Grenade, Sleep Dart, Sombra's Hack, and EMP, these abilities can disrupt him from walking straight into your team. Additionally, given that MAGA can't shield like most tanks, he's a walking ultimate battery for those who can poke him from afar. Some of these heroes include Anna. Her nade will automatically cancel MAGA's lifesteal, making it easier for the entire team to finish him off. If necessary, her nano boost ultimate can be used to save someone inside MAGA's cage. Zenyatta, as long as you don't lose any sight of your discord orb on him, your team should have an easier time shredding his health. As a tank, he has a huge hitbox, which should allow you to pressure him with your right click constantly. Furthermore, Zenyatta's ultimate can become the ultimate lifesaver when timed right during Maga's ult. Bastion. He can pose a massive threat against Maga when left uncontested in a team fight. With Bastion, you'll want to bait him out to bash your front line and then burst him in sentry mode. It's even better if you could wait for him to waste all of his abilities. Sombra. Sombra's hack is a very powerful ability that can be used to punish Maga's aggressive playstyle. Sombra generally shines as a Maga counter. The one thing that makes Sombra shine as a Maga counter is that her EMP ultimate can completely negate Maga's cage. His entire ultimate just disappears into thin air as long as it's in the EMP's range. Maga. Although he's still in the process of receiving nerfs, Maga is still probably one of the best counters for other Magas. Sigma counters. When going against a Sigma, you should attempt to bait out Sigma's kinetic grasp ability with large spam damage done from a distance, such as heroes like Sojourn, Widowmaker, and Hanzo. Kinetic grasp is the ability that absorbs projectiles and transforms them into a shield for Sigma. From there, nearly any damage dealing hero, whether a tank or DPS, can burn through Sigma's health. This can be more efficiently done with heroes that have more mobility like Tracer and Genji, since they can evade Sigma's primary fire easier than other heroes. However, if an unlucky Tracer, Genji, or other squishy hero doesn't get smacked in the face with the giant boulder, they're as good as dead so tread carefully. Sigma's ultimate, Gravitex Flux, is the other big issue to deal with. This ability does massive damage, rendering all heroes caught in it unable to move, making them easy targets to onslaught of attacks. The only real counter to this would be hacking Sigma with Sombra, or providing zones of invulnerability with Baptiste, Kariko, and Lucio for momentary recovery. Winston counters. Like Roadhog, area of effect from Junkrat, Farah, and Zarya's alt fires tends to splash onto his big model. Bastion or Cassidy can almost single-handedly stop a dive by focusing a Winston down. Stuns from Anna and Bridget or even a peeling Doomfist can prevent Winston from diving into or out of a back line. Wrecking Ball Counters The easiest way to prevent him from denying an area or rolling away from a fight is with a stun or slow from May, Anna, Bridget, or a well-timed hook from Roadhog. Much like Doomfist, much like Doomfist, Sombra can make a Wrecking Ball much slower and easier to focus down as a team. Zarya counters. 
When Zarya protects anyone with a bubble barrier including herself, avoid dealing damage to that enemy at all costs. After the barriers have dissipated, Zarya will be susceptible to any incoming damage, making that the most ideal time to remove her from the battlefield and then send her back to spawn. Any hero can do this, but those with large clips like Tracer, Sombra, and Bastion will get the job done quicker. The only risk to using high damage output heroes against Azaria is you risk giving her primary fire charge if you shoot at the wrong time. Yet even more of Zarya's strength lies in her ultimate, trapping enemies inside a vortex. The best way to deal with this is the invulnerability field cast by Kiriko or a Baptiste, or the ultimates of Zenyatta or Lucio, which can provide a large amount of healing at once, that can nullify nearly any combination of ultimates used with a gravitational surge. This ability can also be deflected by Genji when cast, blocked by a Mei wall, or even eaten by a D.Va, though these tactics require a bit more practice than the others. Ash Counters Heroes who are small, fast, and hard to hit like Genji, Tracer, and Echo can more easily flank her and avoid her precision shots. Soldier 76's auto fire can frequently kill Ash faster than she can kill him. Cassidy can outdo an Ash at close range thanks to his grenade. Bastion counters. Burst fire and area of effect from the usual suspects, Junkrat, Pharah, and Zarya's alt fire can take out Bastion quickly, particularly when he's slowed down in configuration and receiving fire from multiple directions. Stuns, particularly long distance ones from Anna and Roadhog's hook, can stop a Bastion long enough to take him out. Bastion is often a slow moving target, which makes landing stuns easier. Small heroes who can force Bastion to move around and focus them, like Genji and Tracer, can whittle him down. Cassidy counters. Genji can deflect Cassidy's high noon ultimate, sometimes resulting in an instant kill on Cassidy. Heroes with shields like Reinhardt and Winston can hide themselves and their teammates from high noon. Going with a mirror Cassidy duel, if you're better at hitting shots or landing grenades is a good counter as well. Echo counters. Like all flying heroes, Echo has a glaring weakness to hitscan shots from Soldier 76, Cassidy, Ash, and Widowmaker. If she stays on the ground for too long, tanks heroes with stun abilities can stop her from flying and then take her out quickly. Winston and Orisa both can pressure Echo in the air, no matter what they're doing. Genji counters. Genji can't deflect beam weapons from heroes like Zarya, Symmetra, Moira, and Winston. Auto-locking beam weapons are even better. Mei and tanks with crowd control abilities can slow down Genji's mobility, making him easier to hit. Hanzo counters. Hanzo has a difficult time hitting mobility heroes like Tracer, Pharah, Lucio, Wrecking Ball, and Genji since his arrows aren't hit scan. Genji can't deflect his dragon arrow, turning it into a utility for his team. Diva can also consume the initial projectile with her defense matrix. Junkrat counters. Junkrat's rate of fire is slow. Faster firing heroes like Cassidy, Soldier 76, and Genji can take him out before he lands grenades. Heroes who are highly mobile on land or in the air like Pharah, Echo, Tracer, Lucio, and Wrecking Ball can avoid his grenades easily. Careful as a Tracer or Lucio though, as Junkrat can one-shot you if you're too close. Zarya's energy barrier was made to work against attacks like Junkrat's. She can gain a ton of energy from his shots and protect her team at the same time. Mei counters. Sombra's hacks blocks Mei's abilities to heal and become invulnerable. Airborne heroes like Pharah and Echo can fly around Mei's defensive ice wall. Long range heroes like Widowmaker, Soldier 76, and Ash can take out Mei before she gets close enough to freeze them. Pharah counters. Pharah has a hard weakness to heroes with hitscan weapons like Soldier 76, Cassidy, Ash, and Widowmaker. Baptiste can give a less skilled Pharah fits if he makes good use of his exo boxes, while a D.Va who cycles their boosters properly can effectively die Pharah, as well as negate her ultimate. Reaper counters. Reaper shotguns are most effective at extremely short range. Snipers and heroes who can attack at a long distance, like Pharah, Widowmaker, Echo, Anna, and even Junkrat, can defeat him before he has the chance to get close. A Reaper can counter a Reaper. Try and get the enemy Reaper to use his invulnerability first, as that allows you to attack aggressively before using your own to get away. Sojourn counters. 
Because Sojourn's primary fire is technically not hitscan, fast moving heroes like Lucio, Genji, and Tracer can outmaneuver her, making it difficult for Sojourn to hit them. Dive heroes like Winston can jump on Sojourn, forcing her to slide away, or if she's already used it, making her very weak. Soldier 76 Counters Soldier 76 specializes in sustained damage, so those who can defeat him more quickly with burst fire have the advantage. Farah, Junkrat, Roadhog, and Cassidy are all great fits for this. Soldier 76 can also counter some of these heroes, so just be careful. Widowmaker and Ash can also outrange Soldier 76. Genji can also deflect everything a Soldier 76 can throw at him aside from his heal. Sombra counters. While Sombra's ability to become invisible is powerful, it doesn't grant total immunity. Area of effect from Farah. Junkrat and Winston can reveal her while she's trying to sneak around. Hanzo's sonic arrow will also reveal her if it lands near her. Stuns from Mei and Anna can prevent her from teleporting back to safety. Kuriko can also use her Sozu to prevent her hacked allies. Symmetra counters. Burst fire from heroes like Junkrat, Farah, and Echo is great against Symmetra's slow but steady sustained fire. Area of effect attacks with lots of splash damage can easily destroy groups of her turrets. Junkrat, Farah, and especially Winston are great at taking out turret nests. Torbjorn counters. Long distance, area of effect, and burst fire from Farah and Junkrat is a great way to quickly destroy Torbjorn's turret. Highly mobile heroes who can stay out of his ground based ultimate, like Farah and Echo, render it effectively useless. Note that Torbjorn can also counter these heroes as well. Sombra is also a counter as she can hack his turret, disabling it for a short period of time. Tracer counters. Trying to hit the small, fast moving Tracer with precision weapons is a waste of time. Instead, try hitting her with characters who use auto locking weapons like Symmetra, Mora, Winston, and Torbjorn's turret. She can also be stunned by Mei or tanks with a crowd control ability, particularly if she tries to dive or flank. A tracer can counter a tracer, forcing her into a duel instead of letting her run rampant on your supports. Widowmaker counters. Widowmaker's secondary close range fire is pretty awful, so flank heavy heroes who can get behind her, like Genji and Tracer, they have the advantage. Even when they're far away, they're trickier for a sniper to hit. Genji can also deflect Widowmaker's shot, resulting in a potential instant kill. Widowmaker counters herself. Other Widowmakers can easily snipe her if she's standing still, as can other headshot heroes like Ash and Zenyatta. Anna counters. Heroes with a lot of maneuverability, like Genji, Echo, Farah, Doomfist, and Tracer are generally too fast and mobile to be hit by her sleep dart. Ina is hard to play in general because of her lack of mobility. She's easily targeted by a wide variety of heroes, particularly in the upper ranks of play, including Winston, Orisa, Ramatra, and so on. Baptiste counters. The usual mobility suspects, Genji, Tracer, Hanzo, Lucio, Echo, and Farah can get around his amplification matrix to avoid taking additional damage. Sombra can hack his immortality field, disabling it for a short period of time. Baptiste's team will likely be huddled around it, which makes them sitting ducks for focus fire. Widowmaker, Cassidy, and Ash can force Baptiste to reposition or use his immortality lamp early. Bridget counters. Bridget is made to counter close combat divers, so flying targets that don't frequently hit the ground can evade her shield bash and whip shot. Farah and Echo are the classic choices. Shield busters like Farah and Junkrat can quickly break her barrier shield though. Ilari counters. Orisa, Zarya, and Diva come to mind for tanks to whittle her health and catch her fast with high mobility. Ilari counters need to be strong, since she is a mostly DPS healer. Orisa, Zarya, and Diva come to mind for tanks who whittle down her health and catch her fast with high mobility. Hitscans and flankers like Cassidy and Genji do a great job of countering her just in case she's hanging behind enemy lines. For support, Baptiste, Wife Weaver, and Lucio are able to contain Ilari with high damage and immobility, all while staying healed. Kariko counters. Kariko's only damage ability is her Kunai's ultimate fire, and it's a tough projectile to hit 
High mobility heroes like Tracer, Sombra, and Genji can make it difficult for her to land those coveted headshots. Roadhog, Mei, and Anna can also stun her, making it difficult for her to teleport or climb away. Lifeweaver counters. Sombra's kit might be the bane of Lifeweaver's existence. Soldier 76's arsenal will make light work of Lifeweaver's platform. He will also be able to shred through a Lifeweaver's health points easily, as the support doesn't possess the movement to escape far enough. Lucio counters. Most hitscan heroes, including Soldier 76, Cassidy, and Ash, are better against Lucio because hitscan is easier to land on a moving target than other types of shots. This doesn't include Widowmaker because of her slow rate of fire and the precision nature of her gun. Like other highly mobile characters, auto locking weapons are great against Lucio. The best options are Symmetra, Winston, Mora, or Torbjorn's turret. Roadhog and Mei can also disrupt Lucio's mobility with slows and stuns. Sombra can disable all of Lucio's area of effect healing with hack. Mercy counters. As a semi-flying target, Mercy shares Echoes and Pharaoh's weakness to hitscan weapons from the likes of Cassidy, Ash, Widowmaker, and Soldier 76. Heroes who can dive in and pursue her, like Genji, Winston, Tracer, and Symmetra, also have an advantage, especially if they can catch Mercy in a corner with no one to fly to. Everyone can outdamage Mercy's gun, and it's now harder to use than it was in the first game. Mora counters. Burst fire from Junkrat, Pharaoh, Echo, and similar heroes can outdamage Mara's self-sustained self-heal. Anna, Mei, and Roadhog can stun her out of her ultimate. Long-range heroes like Ash and Widowmaker can stay out of reach of her biotic grasp. Mara can no longer fade out of area of effect ultimates like Zarya's gravitational surge, leaving her very vulnerable. Zenyatta counters. Area of effect and burst fire from the likes of Junkrat and Pharah can knock out Zanyata before he has a chance to land his precision shots. His slow moving head is target practice for headshot heroes like Widowmaker, Ash, Cassidy, Kariko, and Hanzo. Because Zanyata is something of a headshot hero himself, this means he can counter himself too. Fast, small moving characters like Tracer and Genji can focus down Zanyata easily thanks to his lack of movement. The only way to counter that is Zanyata is to kill them or to get support from your teammates.